Vitiligo might affect the entire body or it can just be in one part called segmental vitiligo or it can just be localized. So how do we treat this vitiligo? Is there any treatment at all? As I told you, it's an autoimmune disorder. So we do not know how the body will respond to each treatment. But there are treatments, there is no, no, hope, uh, no need to lose hope. We do have what we call as phototherapy where we give light to the patient, the safest U ultraviolet light, the narrow band UVB which you can stand in a, a private chamber and have the light focused on the patient. So this gives a lot of uh, uh, pigmentation to the, uh, to the depigmented areas. This can be done over uh, uh, weekly twice or thrice over four to six months even up to one year. This is harmless and does not cause any injury to the body, but we do take our own precautions. Uh, and we also apply certain topical medications to the skin to the affected area. Some areas are difficult to treat. Where there is body hair, the pigment from the body hair will uh, reach this depigmented area or the colorless area and cause pigment. But in the palms and soles and lips where there are no hair, it might take a little longer to pigment or it might be even resistant to treatment. But there are now new, newer surgical techniques like we do grafting. By grafting, I, we don't need to take entire skin from one area to graft it to the affected area. Nowadays, we call it as melanocyte transfer where only the pigment cells are transferred to the colorless area. That is, they make a blister and from that fluid, they take the pigment cells alone and they transfer it to the colorless area. This uh, treatment is also very much in vogue now and can be done when after finishing phototherapy.